really well. It's, it has been a while. Yes, thank you for being on my show. We are so excited to have you here. Well, thank you for inviting me to play. Yes, so tell us your name and if you want a little about yourself. Uh, my name is Cynthia Carrere and I'm a style shamanista and I love anything that has to do with expansion, evolution, growth, fun, play, makeup, style, money, freedom. <laughs> we love all of those things as well. Yes, yeah. so we will have a great conversation today. Is there anywhere you would like to start? Well, my first foray into this would be about your style. So style, maybe makeup, and how, how you express yourself really ties into your joy and money. Oh, yes, we would love to hear about that from your point of view for the humans here. Well, first, let's, I want to know how you do your makeup, like how you decide your style. Like you're, you're playing in Rachel's body, right? Yes. So then how is it that you decide what it is that you want to look like or feel like or express yourself? You know, it is, it is a very seamless thing. We noticed that uh, for many of you, you have a thought that feels like it is a separate thing from your action, right? And so you think about what do I want today? And then you go and get it. But for me, there is just the intention that creates the action. And then, so I just choose what is in resonance with me at that moment. And it is often also taking into account who I am meeting with. So I, I like to express myself to be in harmony with the situation. So if it is just me and I am going with Rachel for a walk or something, then it will look similar to all of you, but different. And for you, this is how I like to appear. And I chose this jacket for you and to be in this situation and same with the makeup. So it is not a thought out process. Rachel is doing the pulling for me, but I am just knowing what I'm wanting all in one swoop. Does that make sense? It does, and I really like that sparkly. And I chose my background because green seems to be your favorite color. So I thought That's I want to be in absolute favorite. Yes, I want to be in harmony with you. <laughs> yes, it is wonderful. It is also Rachel's favorite color too. Oh, is it? Yes, chartreuse. Oh. She would say. Oh, okay. Did you have to teach Rachel how to do stuff? Yes, yes. You would not believe how I did. So she has enjoyed the idea of makeup for a long time, but never applied it to herself very often, only as a, you know, once a year possibly. And so I just inspired her to watch many, many, many YouTube videos about makeup for years and years. She had no idea why she was so interested, but she was picking up information about how to move her hand, what to, what to use, to apply it and I still guide her in that way. So she is really not doing the makeup, it is me. And I know what tools to use because we watched those videos together. So we coordinated together to, to be able to do this. Well, that's fun. Do you guys kind of like have a conversation? Are, we, are you able to, to communicate? Like, are you, are you having a conversation or is it like you said, seamless work, you just do it? It is very seamless, though we can have conversations and we do about other things. But when I, it is like when you get an impulse to do something, you get an impulse to grab a banana, right? You just grab it. Right. That is how it is with her. She just grabs the tool and puts it where I want it. And that is all. It is not me saying to her, pick this up and do this here. It is just a one thing, one thing. So what I see some beautiful like rainbow, but what is on, on the side? Yes, we just put some of that there. It is almost like a gill. Oh. We, just saw, we saw, we don't even know what it is. It was a fish with gills, but it had legs and a different kind of tail. She just took me to a lake. So I saw that for the first time. And that's what this looks like to me. You know, that just reminded me, this sounds, okay, what would, what would happen if you got your makeup out and we had a question and you did intuitive art on your face? 
that is basically what I do, right? We have done intuitive bar before on paper, Ooh. but not on our face at that at the real time, as you are saying. That would be really fun sometime to see. Yeah, what would happen. Try that. Yeah, and um, I really like the idea of not only expressing yourself that way, but I kind of love um, not face painting what I'm trying to say, but like swirls or kind of dots or kind of tribal fun uh, or just lines or something rather than our Western concept of just simply, you know, eye makeup and mascara and lips, but like really fun design. Yeah, or we not. have many of those things. At the three planes, we will put some pictures in so that you can see that. Okay. It is very fun. We love all of it. All of it is so much fun. Do you do that for yourself? Well, no, but I, I've thought about it, but I'm thinking how fun would that be to just, to just draw? I don't know what I have right here, but I would love to draw a spiral or a circle or something if I had the right, right tool. That just feels like it'd be really fun. Yes, yes. Yeah. We believe that is, that is yours to do because it is inspired from you. We would love to see that. So do you have a favorite tool that you just like, or can you just use anything or have you found that you really like certain tools? We are a fan of brushes because Rachel is used to using her fingers for everything, but we like to get more precision than that. And we also notice that the application is very different. So we have many brushes that do different things. and. So they are dirty, very dirty right now, but you know what we mean. And then we we use different ones for the eyes, right? Like most of you, but we just, we like having lots and lots of them to play with so that we can add many, many colors. Nice. Okay, so um, you use a different brush for all the different colors? Yes. And then do you have a particular uh, brand of, that comes with all those colors or do you pick them out individually or how do you find you know i have oh. these, these colors <laughs> neutral they are very nice but yes we like many many colors we we have this brand here violet voss has colorful Ooh. ones and they are sparkly and not sparkly and then this is this is highlighters that are many colors so we have we have mostly very colorful makeup, very colorful. And then I noticed your fingernails looked like it also had some fun colors on it too. Yes, we like that as well. All right. Your world is full of colors and we just love celebrating that. Is it different from where you are, from where you're from? It is different in the sense that all is present in different shapes at the same time. Where I live, we are non-physical and we do not have trees and homes and lakes and things to look at. We can create anything we wish, but it does not, we do not move about in space the same way you do. So we do not get to perceive ourselves moving through objects with color in the same way. So this must be like fun or an adventure for you. That is why we're here. Yes, we love, we love it. We love seeing new things and meeting you and talking with you to get your fresh perspective, to get your energy. It is so different from where I am. So do you have any advice for people who take this sort of for granted? Yeah, that is just to sit back and allow your body to relax allow yourself to breathe right because if you are heightened in your your nervous system if you are firing quickly if you are go go going as you all love to do but you are not relaxed you will miss the beauty of your world and your real connection to your non-physical self so if you want to tap into the real creator of what is outside of you so that more beauty can show up and that you 
acknowledge that beauty and live there, then just remember to relax, relax. It will not harm your productivity at all. In fact, <laughs> you will be more creative and, and more efficient in doing so. That feels really good. Um, do you have special ways that you like to celebrate? Like, how do you s celebrate? And then I think it's two questions. How do you celebrate? And then how are you tapping into that joy and expanding it? Well, for me, it is, it is just where I live. I do not need to do a process to celebrate and live in joy. I am joy. We yeah. are joy. So when you can tap into your higher self that is all you need to do it is right there right maybe you call it god or source but when you go there you feel it right mm -hmm. it's always there for you and it is a part of you so it is not even a stretch so i just am this way and coming here right you attract what you are mm -hmm. Right, so if I am joy, I can come here and see joy very easily. Great, <laughs> that's a good uh, space to occupy all the time. Yes, it is. It is. We are always saying this. Yes, it is a wonderful place to live, and it is accessible to you too. Do you have fun? Like, what are some of your favorite things to do when you have a body to to play? Well, we are working into things. It's your bodies are very sensitive. And for me, it took a very long time to get used to simply being here with the physical sensations of that. So just the air hitting the skin while I am here was a lot to adjust to at first. So over the years, Rachel has done little things. I went outside maybe two years ago. And that was big, and I touched water maybe a year ago. A few days ago, Rachel took me hiking, and I got to see uh, a mountain and a lake. And so we are slowly getting out into the world. I've been on a walk before. So, uh, there, so if your baseline is joy like mine, it does not matter what I am doing. That is how I'm feeling. And so I love everything. I love sitting here. I love talking. I love staring off into space. <laughs> but I do also enjoy other things like your flowers and your grass and your bugs and your animals are amazing. So I love all of those things. And I, I keep doing a little bit more as I am ready. Gotcha. Okay. Um, sometimes when there's culture clashes, like somebody from one country goes to another country there are things that surprise them and they don't quite understand or it makes them giggle or is there anything here that has surprised you what surprised me the most is the level of resistance that you all carry around and identify with so i was familiar with the idea of coming here and assuming a different personality right so you're not necessarily your whole higher self here. You are uh, using just part of yourself as your identifier as being human, which we understood. But the idea that you would want to be more whole and you would want to have more joy and abundance and yet still almost fight for the limited view. That was surprising to me. But of course, in a very joyful, beautiful way, you are entitled to that. It is partially why you are here. So it is okay that you are like that. It just was a little getting used to for me. Yeah. Why do you think we do that? Well, there is a lot of momentum around it, first of all. You are very used to thinking that way. It is not that easy to change course quickly here. But also, there, we realize the number one fear that you all have is ostracized. Ostrac we cannot say that. Uh -huh. Feeling rejected by your fellow people. Mm -hmm. And so, there is a big reward for you for fitting in 
And for the most part, that means limiting yourselves, right? Mm. So a lot of you unknowingly choose to fit in over what it is you actually want. So would you say, so if you could put another word to resistance, because it's a feeling of, that's blocking your higher vibration, right? What's another word that you would use for that to help the human beings that? Contraction. Contraction, okay. Rachel likes a quote that she heard a very long time ago by David Wolf, and he said, "Your." We are self-contracting beings, and he was speaking of humans as the we. Humans are self-contracting beings. There is nothing outside of you that has power over you. There is no assertion. You fully create your own life. And therefore, if you are contracting, it is your choice to contract. Not to say that you are aware of that, right? You are getting there, but it is not quite clear yet. But, yes, when... You, when you feel tight or worried or stressed or anything like that, you feel your body's tighten up. And that is why we always recommend to try and find a way to relax as often as you can. Gotcha. Okay. So it's definitely a feeling. But from your perspective, is there a color to it? Is there a flavor? Is there a consistency or a texture to it? Well, it's a little bitter. When you don't get what you want, you feel bitter and resentful, right? Mm -hmm. But we would not like to associate too much with it like that because some of you enjoy the bitter taste. <laughs> and some of you enjoy all the colors, even the really gross ones. So we will leave that up to you. Just looking for a way for us to remind ourselves and to notice it because you said it, it was maybe not in our awareness. That were well, so actually, it. there is a better way to notice it than to focus on that. So what you focus on expands. So we won't want to have a note on our minds that says, let me always remember to notice feeling bitter, because then that is all we will feel. So I would recommend asking yourself, how do I want to feel? How mm -hmm. do I want to feel? Do I want to feel free, relaxed? joyful, content, satisfied, creative, however it is that you feel most called to, try to feel that way as often as you can and in a gentle way. So you might need to work up to it, but make that your goal for the day. Choose your feeling place. And then when you are not feeling that, you will notice. Brilliant. When you are feeling happy throughout the day, and then all of a sudden something comes and you feel, oh, wait, what is that? You will notice because it is different from your happy intention. So you're still putting your awareness on something so that you will then notice the contrast. You are putting your awareness where you want it to be, though, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. This is a completely different topic, but it's, it's related in what I was thinking about joy. Um, I unexpectedly bought myself a keyboard this week this weekend and i am not musical at all i've not expressed music <laughs> in all the time i've been here on earth but it there's something about it that's drawing me to it do you have any thoughts or suggestions or something as a brand new beginner well we would say have fun musical notes resonate and so you will feel your preference for what notes you enjoy the most. And we would say, work on that, work on those, find songs that have those notes in them so that you can feel the feedback in your body and that it is pleasant for you. Nice, very good. Yes, and congratulations, it sounds like that was an inspired idea. It, it has been, it's been percolating and then it just lined up and there was this really fun keyboard and so I, decided on when to do it <laughs> excellent yeah so before you know it we'll be jamming out <laughs> we will have a band do you like to play music i have never played music on your planet before but rachel was in bands when she was younger and she very much likes music what did she play she played the bass guitar and the regular guitar 
Oh, nice. Okay. Yes. Do you have you ever tried singing? No, I do not believe, but Rachel likes to sing. So can I invite you to sing sometime? Even with just with Rachel or something? And I'd like to hear how that was for you. Like uh finding those notes that resonate in your body. Possibly. We will say maybe, yes. <laughs> so that is another thing that we would encourage you all to do is feel in your body what you are ready for, right? As we were saying, I have slowly acclimated to being in a body and on your planet, so that might be too much for me, but we will see. So what else? Anything else? What do you what do you find about style and makeup? That is a big part of you, right? What what does it bring to you? For me, it's it's about up leveling. Up leveling the emotion, up leveling the experience, um, self-expression. Um, I see our bodies as kind of a blank canvas and it's something that we can change or add to um, by the color of hair, by what we are choosing to put on our face, what we're choosing to wear and the textures of the clothes and the colors, all of it can either camouflage who you are, sabotage who you are or completely support who you are. And it's like having a bunch of fun tools like artist colors and things to play with. So I I do that with clothes. What you were saying um, a few minutes ago about what feeling do you want to tune into and what do you want to focus on? Yes. I kind of feel like, ooh, what do I, what's appropriate for today? And I, I mean appropriate, like if I was going to an event, I might not wear my pajamas. <laughs> um, so it's like, where, what, is the situation and then what do I want to bring to it what do I want to feel while I'm inhabiting that so maybe it's a little bit like when you come to Rachel I feel like what do I want to inhabit right now and then I support that with the clothes I wear that's great is it fun oh it's totally fun Good. yes <laughs> very fun yeah excellent we like that a lot yes having more fun on your planet because you can, right? We see it as the same way, it's a blank canvas. Where I am, we can change our appearance any moment. We usually do not, we usually pick something and it sticks for a while, but here you are so unlimited in that expression and there is no unsatisfying part of where we live. But here, playing with your appearance is very satisfying, right? You get to know yourself better, right? You get to feel what it is that you want to look like in that day. And it is a wonderful thing. It is, and it's you do get to know more about yourself. And it's very interesting. I don't know how it is for you, but I have dressed up in so many different ways and styles, even if it's just for a day. Like you're wearing this and this bling, this real fun, piece for today you're not adopting that as every day right it's like today so I've tried so many different things and depending on my energy in it plus other people's it's more of a co-creation right like you could just dress up in your house but when you go out into the world now other people are seeing you right and they're sparking off of that so it's a co-creation right it's like a performance art is how I see style right? And so I have noticed that depending on how I dress, it creates a completely different experience each time. So people treat me different depending on the style and the outfit. And I keep pushing those, uh, my own boundaries, um, just to see, even if it's not something that I would normally wear, I try it just to see what the interaction is. It's like a little play, um, little theater. Does that make sense? It does, yes. Rachel has been influenced by me her entire life, and she used to dress very wildly with her hair and her clothes in high school. And she looked at it as if she wanted people to know her personality without having to speak to her first, right? Mm -hmm. So it was just, the outside expression of her insides. 
Yes. It's like a, in some ways, we go to products in the store, right? They might be in a can or a jar, and we wouldn't know what they were if they didn't have some kind of wrapping on them, yes. right? So if you would imagine taking all, and I'm not talking label like I'm labeling somebody, but if you took all the labels off of a product, you would have just the outside and you wouldn't know what was on the inside. And I think that's the way it is with us sometimes is we don't always know what's on the inside, but if we can put a matching from the outside, then there's that congruency and people can feel that. Yes, they can. Yes. There is still your energetic signature with people can pick up on, but it is often more subtle than the outward appearance. Yes. Yeah. And when they match, it is magical. And you can also tell when somebody isn't wearing what is truly themselves because that's a mismatch and can be really uncomfortable as well. We have not encountered that, but there might be something to we we see all of people no matter what they are wearing so it would be difficult for us or maybe impossible to see anything like that hmm. okay different experiences <laughs> yes of course that is why we are speaking yeah um so you mentioned that you've influenced rachel her whole life yes i have always been a part of her and so my preferences here have come out in her as well so how did you choose her <laughs> well like we said in the beginning for me intentions create right it creates the action it creates the outcome and so because i have no resistance that is what occurs and that is what occurs mostly for non-physical beings right so there were several non-physical beings with the intention to come to this planet and that happened simultaneously which created the life of rachel ah very interesting okay yes <laughs> all right well this has been super fun thank you yes we very much enjoyed it and we can't wait to talk more oh but wait wait in the beginning you were talking about style and money and i know people are always wanting to know about money so what do you want to talk about that for a minute i would love to but can we save that for next time of can course we... yes, yes yes i would love to do that very good well thank you so much cindy it was so good to see you again next time you will come and be more colorful with us. And I will we'll speak on style and money. Okay, the <laughs> challenge accepted. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everyone. We love you so much and we will see you next time.